हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज सी एस संदीप मोदी वेलकम टू अवर चैनल सी एस संसार टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न एवरीथिंग अबाउट प्राइवेट टेबल प्लस टू बोनस टिप्स बोनस स्टेप वुड बी दैट इफ द डेटा कीप्स ऑन अपडेटिंग हाउ वी कैन हैंडल इन प्राइवेट टेबल विदाउट चेंजिंग द सोर्स डेटा सेकेंड बोनस स्टेप वुड बी दैट हाउ कैन वी handle dates in the pivot table uh, uh it would be beneficial that you can automatically convert your date into month or year as per your requirement so let's start the video here as you can see this is dummy data and on this data you have to put a pivot i have prepared a sample data but let me show you how to prepare basic pivot table go under the head insert pivot table i'm i want pivot table on my existing sheet if you want on the new sheet you can use it here this option but i want here only as you can see this is normal pivot table here as you can see uh, puja is repeated two times and total is 600 here 600 is coming suppose uh, this data gets updated if i add something here For example, which one I am adding a new data line set. Now, if I refresh this pivot table, it will not capture which one's data. So every time you update your data, you have to change the source data. That is, you have to do uh, go under the pivot table analysis, change source data, and from here you have to change it like this. Now it is showing. but don't you think this is time consuming and chances of errors are too much so what we can do it how to how does pivot table automatically take this so cut select the data go under the head insert table my table has a header okay now again i am select putting a pivot table here existing sheet here only i am putting now this is coming here amount is coming here and if i put here widget 2 and do a refresh here as you can see widget 2 is coming and if i do a refresh here here also it will come because this data set is in uh, table form excel table so it will automatically my source data reach the table range is change so this is the benefit of putting the raw data in excel table so this was your bonus tip and how to hand uh, how to put pivot now let's come how to handle dates in pivot table as you can see this is my dummy data and this format of date is not correct which we have discussed in our last videos let's see here let's put a pivot you yeah, as you can see existing i want here only so i am doing here okay your fields are there and here i want dates and here i want amount as you can see if the dates are not in proper format it will not group itself in the dates here i have grouped the dates in the proper format so let's do a pivot on this data if you want to see uh, how we can group the date, uh, dates in a proper format please visit our uh, date video it's there on the same playlist now i'm putting this insert pivot table existing sheet now two more things i am going to explain you in this example now i am taking dates and amount as you can see this date format work correct that's why it grouped automatically in the year format if you don't want in year format right click it and your option is there group ungroup if i ungroup it it will come in dates if i group it this will give me an option whether you want group wise month wise quarter wise year wise or hour wise as per your requirements with the help of shift uh and click you can multi select the data i am going with month and year as you can see year it's year month 
and if you want this in the classic format pivot table options layout data display uh, classic pivot layout your option is there and if you want to remove subtotals you can remove as per your requirements that all field are there this was bonus bonus step second and third important thing means which we generally don't know and let's use this only raw data for third example of pivot here i'm selecting it insert pivot existing workbook here particulars amount this is normal pivot table and if you right click on here and go under the field settings here all the options will come whether you want total of sum whether you want number of time particular items is repeated whether you want average of it whether you want max minimum of the same so currently i am using sum if you want more value you can again drag the same value as you can see i have dragged amount two times now i am doing field settings i want number of counts so puja is repeated two times shweta is repeated two times if i want maximum amount again i will drop drag it field settings i want max this way you can easily use uh, pivot table functions if you have any doubts please write on the comment box uh, we are happy to solve all the queries and if you like the video please share subscribe our channel and videos if you have any doubts please like uh, write on the comment box thank you